Hi, I'm Brittany. And I'm Mackenzie. And this is Geekery TV. The channel where we talk about the stuff that we geek out about. And today, in honor of St. Valentine's Day. Which is Friday. We're going to talk about love stories. And romantic comedies. Yes. I'm really not excited about this. I'm sorry. I just... I want to be more excited, and my fingernails say I'm excited. Here, I'll show you. Because they are Ooh, gold with fancy cute. hearts. But mostly, I am having issues with Valentine's Day once again. Um, yeah. It comes from partially from my profession of working in a flower shop um, and seeing everybody else's love, and my lack of love in my life, and it's kind of disheartening and that is why we go to movies to make us feel better that being said Mackenzie I just in general don't care for the holiday really you did lot you did two years ago when you got somebody you love it yeah it's one of those holidays where you're like I love it so much oh you're so cute thank you so much no that's exactly how you are I kind of am yeah it's okay I'm one of those people. But because of this, we are going to talk about romantic comedies. Um, I didn't really pick comedies. What if mine's a musical? I mostly just picked, like, epic sort of love stories. I'm going to fix my chair. I'm kind of, like, <laughs> leaning to get in. Oh, there we go. I moved the table. I'm sorry. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, do you want to start first? You can go. Go with one of yours first. And then um, I'm going to go with this one first. Bridget Jones's Diary. I mean, it's a, it is like the quintessential romantic comedy. Um, Renee Zellweger's in it. I love her. My mother would not let me watch this when it first came out because I... You're, you're getting... I'm getting clear. Yeah. Sorry, I'll tilt it down. Um, because I was a, a wee lass when it came out. I love it, though. I love them now. I own the box set. You know, it, it's... I agree. I think it's one of those hilarious sort of like normal r romantic comedies. Yeah, it's the most uh, relatable, I think. And I love that she's not like the stereotypical girl that's in like all the romantic comedies. It's beautiful, even though she is. She's totally gorgeous, but doesn't know she's beautiful. She's heavier than like than her normal size. Than her normal size. She looks like a normal person. Yeah, like she's like a size 12 in the film. That's like normal. That's the average size. And she doesn't wear like crazy lace panties. She wears granny panties. And sometimes. Like, sometimes. And her bras don't match her underwear. Like normal people. For real, I don't buy my underwear and bra and matching sets. Sorry to like blow your mind, guys. It's not what I do. I don't think a lot of men watch us. You know what, if you're a guy, comment I mean, below. I Let wish, us know. Yeah. Let us know if we have a lot of male followers. It's because I feel cool. like we don't. I feel like it's mostly ladies, which is cool. Yeah, rock on. Girl power. Yeah. People Spice of, girls. So I was just gonna, people of the world. Every boy and every girl. Okay, okay. anyways. So, so that's my one of We are going to do five total. Total. So you agree with this one. Absolutely. If you agree with this one, comment below. I think it's Let great. us know. Okay. She's going to do a film. She has three. I have two. No, one of them is our <laughs> combo. That's a combo. That we both agree on. I have a stolen copy <laughs> of a movie. I just, Because I forgot to take it back to the red box. Someone didn't return it. But mine is Bright Star. About John Keats. Oh, John Keats. And his love for a... Oh, look, my nail's on that. It's nice. It's so nice. It's very like holographic with it. <laughs> um, and uh, his love for a woman named Fanny Brown, and she inspired him. And it's a true story, which is kind of always wonderful. Um, and it's a you know it's a period piece as well. Um, but she inspired him, and he created wonderful pieces of art because of their love, which was very. At the time, she was not supposed to fall in love with someone like John Keats because he had no fortune, and as we all know, um, and Elizabethan and Victorian and all those different times, the women were supposed to marry for a fortune so that they were secure. One of the most common like lines in any book or movie is, love will come with time. Right. Ooh. That is so disheartening. People have been telling me that for years. 
I don't believe you. No, but we do love um, Renaissance and Elizabethan timepieces. I love a good period uh, piece. We were raised in the theater, so... Give me sense and sensibility any day. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the that sort of wonderful we watched jane eyre the other day if we owned it again if we owned it on dvd it would be like the number one it is the most heartbreaking love story ever it's so sad it's so sad if you haven't seen it but if you haven't seen it go see it like we will sit and cry for three hours through this film totally worth it though bright star is definitely a film worth watching it didn't get a lot of press it didn't do very well at box office i just happened to see a trailer for it online and i was like okay i'm gonna watch this movie it I, is so wonderful i haven't seen it we watched it no you watched that one we also got thor that time no 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 we watched this not that long ago i don't remember it we may rewatch it and do it she, for a red box roulette she's a dressmaker remember <gasps> oh i have seen it never mind <laughs> lies i lied she's a fibber sorry okay now this next one bernie does not agree with it i don't all. agree a lot of this movie has had a lot of criticism over the years people don't like it people hate it i love this this is my second copy of this film because my first one got so scratched from constant playing that i had to get a new one and it took me like four months to find one whoa what? i like buffered if that happened we apologize <laughs> well, sorry about that that's weird. <laughs> um so this movie is cry baby I love this film. I find it ridiculously funny. It is funny. I just don't think it's... To me, it's not a love story. Okay. Read the back. The back says, the very last line... Ugh, ah. so much glare. On the back says, it's a hysterical, high-throttle world of 1945 and director John Waters' outrageous romantic musical comedy. I'm sorry. I love John Waters. I am almost positive. I'm buffering. What is happening? <laughs> that was strange. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, yeah, basically any John Waters movie is more romantic than Cry Baby. It just doesn't do it for me. I love this film. What is going on? Oh, we're having ish technical difficulties. difficulties. But we're seven minutes into this. We're just going to keep going. Um... <laughs> I love this film. I love it. Like, I love the ridiculousness of it, of he only cries one tear when he cries and it steals all the girls' hearts. I love it. I think it's hilarious. Why were you Southern? You know all John Waters movies are in Baltimore. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tend to go Southern sometimes. I used to live in Baltimore. I know all about it. So, my nose is just, sorry. <laughs> We're having some major <laughs> issues today. I apologize. Oh, it's been God. it's been an awesome day for me. Like I just had a good day today. Besides finding Valentine's miniature day cupcakes. To be over. Try finding miniature cupcakes in a town of thirty thousand people. They do not two exist. Days, two days before Valentine's. They do day. not exist. BS. Anyways, I think it's hilarious. Um, I love Johnny Depp in whatever he is. I love Johnny Depp. That's part of the problem is I love him so much. She expected more. But I I don't think the DVD's in here. Let's we'll see. We got Ricky Lake. Who plays the pregnant sister. Um. Mm. Oh, yeah. Speedway Chill Club. Gotta love it. Get the seventh for free. Shout out to Speedway. Tracy Lords is in it, which, you know, it's a porn star. Iggy Pop's in it. I love Iggy Pop. I can't, you know, you can't go wrong. Um, there. The costuming in it is amazing. Love Absolutely. It. I love the 1950s. Like, I feel like I should have born in the 19, been born in the 1950s. I would definitely be not a square. I wear too makeup. Too much makeup. Too makeup. <laughs> too makeup or not too makeup? That is the question. <laughs> that is never a question. question. It's always makeup. <laughs> um, I love this film. If you like this film, comment below. If you've seen Bright Star, comment yes, below. Yes, please. Someone else tell me they've seen it because I feel like I'm the only person who's watched it I've and that kind it. of makes me sad. Okay. And here comes the next one. These next two, we both love. Okay. My next movie. The Princess Bride. Who doesn't love this? Because film? it is sort of that eternal love conquers all. He, he Wesley went to the ends of the earth. He became the Dread Pirate Roberts to love Princess Buttercup. <laughs> and it is just she loves like so loves good. This film. It is the first DVD I ever got. The case is disgusting. 
disgusting. It's got like cigarette holes in it. And I don't even. It's got like. It looks coffee? like someone puked on my on my DVD case. It's probably coffee. Probably Mandy Patinkin's in it. Co- but who doesn't love Mandy Patinkin? It's really that sort of love conquers all. You have to have faith to you know. <laughs> It's got an itchy now. <laughs> you know, you have to have faith in love and in yourself. You have to believe in yourself because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anyone else? Can I get an amen? You know, it's so I, I love that idea and everybody's just so wonderful in it. So if you love the Princess Bride, let us know. Comment below. <laughs> or if you hate it, if you're like one of the eight people in the world that hate this film, tell us why. We will probably disagree with you. Just a heads up. This still has a sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the saddest film. I just spit. I just spit. It was so sad. And then, really, the number one film, I think, for both of us when it comes to <sighs> love and romance. Because we Destiny. love our cold, dead hearts being warmed by British accents. And that would be... Pride, Pride and Prejudice. Again, it's a period so piece. Good. If you haven't seen it... You're the devil. You need no, I'm to, kidding. You're not. You may be, but you need to go see it. It's just... You know, I'm not a Kira Knightley fan. Most um, of the time. I love her in this and bend it like Beckham. I think she is a wonderful Elizabeth Bennet. When I read Pride and Prejudice before I saw the film, Matthew McFadden, he does things for me that he's no other man best. will ever do. He's the best, Darcy. and it's really only by giving a look. He's he conveys so much emotion. Can you stop playing with your shirt because oh, it looks sorry. like you're playing with your boobs. And I know that some people prefer the version with, with Colin Firth yeah. as Mr. Darcy. I prefer Matthew McFadden. I think that he is just... He's the cat's meow. He's... He's, he's he Darcy. He is Darcy. He exudes it to me. I love, love... 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 This film. It's another timeless kind of classic film. And it seems so relatable because they don't like each other at first. They can't seem to be in the same room and as each other. really crappy. And it's they because he has a cold heart that needs work. And when it comes to that sort of love, I love that love. Like when people kind of get to know each other, and then it's like, oh wow, I really I have intense feelings for this person. So intense that I'm gonna walk across the field in my morning coat. And oh tell you that you have bewitched me, heart and soul. Oh, God. Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> oh, my God. It's kind of like the love. If you've, et- the line, if you've read the books, please comment below. Let me know I'm not the only one reading these. I love you most ardently. <gasps> no. no. The City, um, the Mortal Instruments series, in the first, where uh, it's like, how quickly you dismiss our love. You know, that my- line. I'm Ugh. not asking for a man to talk to me no. like that all the time. Mm-mm. Every once in a while to pull out a great line like that, though, whoo, whoo, you're going to get stuff. Lots of stuff. <laughs> some, some sexy stuff. Sorry, Grandma. I'm not sexy at all, so. Shoot your eyes. It's hilarious. <laughs> I just, I, I, um, yeah, no. She's not. too awkward. No. If you can't, Brittany does not exude this much confidence in real life, as you all see on this channel. I, I do with an adequate amount of booze. Lots of boobs. Booze. Booze. <laughs> Booze. <laughs> Sorry. We just watched the movie for Redbox Roulette. I I bought this like sampler set of 1970s Ooh. horror movies. Ooh, it's bad. But anyway, we're, we're, ta- we're still talking about love. Sorry. And how love is good. And love conquers all. And if you're in love with us, let us know. Comment below. Yeah. Leave us a note that says, I love you. We would love that, even if you're a girl, you know? Right. Equal opportunity. I, But I think overall, uh, it's it seems to be that um, the movies that we picked are all sort of eternal type loves. Yeah. Except for Crybaby. 
their love is eternal. Don't diss them. She sang outside of a jail for him. And he made license plates with her name. <laughs> oh, oh, those poor people in Maryland had to drive around with her car with her name on their car. I mean, Allison's a good name. So once again, the films are our our top five films. Our top five romantic films, even though I couldn't find Romeo and Juliet, but I like Baz Luhrmann's. I'm shocked that you don't have High Fidelity over here. Um, That needs to go into a different pile. We love that film and that book. If you haven't seen it or read it, go get we'll it. We'll talk about it We're going to talk time. about it. It's going to be okay, but it's amazing. So, Bright Star. Bridget Jones. <clears throat> Any of them? Really? Any of them. Orlando. Princess Bride. Crybaby. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. A brand new copy still, still in, the in the plastic. We just got it like last week. I'm excited about it. So. Love, love. Love yourself. Love other people. Share the love. Be nice. Share us. Yeah, share us. Share the love with us. Subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you've seen these movies, if you haven't seen these movies, if you feel like another movie should have been in the top five. Or if you dispute the movies we have. Yeah. If like, you're like, no, and this is why, I would love to know. Yeah, I want to know why. Um, share us on your Facebook wall. Go up to your mom and be like, hey, look at these adorable girls. They talk about rom-coms. We didn't even say any cuss words this time. Boom! We're working on it, people. <laughs> We're trying. We curse like sailors in real life. I have the vocabulary of a, a well-educated well sailor. sailor. We I'm also stuck in a book series where everybody cusses all the time. She's reading the Game of Thrones series because we love that TV show and we cannot wait for April for that show to start. It's giving me trepidation. <sighs> but anyway. You just moved our oh, lighting. Moved our lighting with my <laughs> Anyway, that has nothing. We'll that talk about that power. later. Super breath. Super breath. Super stanky breath. Oh, oh. I just not see your fire. So, subscribe. <laughs> it's going to be like here in my boobage area. <laughs> like us. Leave comments because we really want feedback. Yeah, so we're not just feeling like we're talking to ourselves. Right now, we just kind of feel like we just post these and no one sees them. So, please even let though, us know. Even though we see how many of y'all view these. And we love you guys who view us. So, <laughs> Uh, happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day. But, but you know, kind of let like... us let us know what you think. And if you hate us, tell us. Yeah. But, but be nice about it. You know what? My feelings get hurt really easy. Mine don't. I don't care. If you hate me, just be like, I hate that fat girl. And it's <gasps> going to be me. It's going to be okay. Are you calling me skinny? Yeah. Have you see my face? It looks super Do fat look today. This, mm -hmm. oh, this is my yeah, chin yeah. right there. Sorry. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment. And have a happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Bye.